activated your window into how we can change the way in which we aspire for persons with disabilities, how we change our expectations from seeing inability to expecting ability. Activated takes us on a journey of taking lessons from persons with disabilities in how we must do things differently to unleash the contributions persons with disabilities can and must make to building a disability inclusive Mzanzi. Hello and welcome to Activated with me, your host, Taryn Tomlinson. In order to release the potential of persons with disabilities, we as a society need to own up to the fact that it's our attitude, behavior, language, and the way that we organize our environment that disables persons with impairments. And unless we change, we will not be able to change the narrative for persons with disabilities. Over the past few months, we have journeyed all around South Africa to bring you stories of people with disabilities who go up against great odds to ensure a democratic and equitable society for all. We also brought you exciting innovations that are changing the lives of millions of people with disabilities. In the series finale, we look to the future with new aspirations for persons with disabilities, and we find out what we need to do to continue to achieve better results for young people with disabilities living in South Africa by 2030. Now, for the last time, ladies and gentlemen, let's get activated. In today's show, we meet Deputy Minister Henrietta Ipileng Bohapane Zulu, who established and led the Disabled People South Africa Women with Disabilities Development Program. We visit Homozo Moalusi, parents of twins with disabilities and founder of the Puzzle Piece Convo, a support initiative for parents of autistic children. Our studio guest is Charlotte McLean Klapo, who was instrumental in the development of South Africa's first disability rights policy post-1994. Our young minister Bokopane Zulu is a very bekende veteran of the Beweging for Ongeschiktheidsrechte. Zij and sluiten two of her daughters and kleinsien is geboren met gesichtgestreemdheid. Zij deel met ons wat ze vordering gemaakt is, maar ook waarom ons meer moet stref na beter voor uitgang voor jong mensen met gestreemdheden. Deputy Minister Henrietta Ipileng Bohopane Zulu is a mother of three daughters, two of whom share a visual impairment with her and now a grandmother of a boy with a visual impairment. She has experienced three generations of childhood with disability, giving her a unique bird's eye view on progress made, but also why we should aspire for more and expect better. I'm the first daughter of six born in Phuking in the Northwest. We've got a hereditary condition, congenital cataract and nystagmus. So blindness is like uh, the family inheritance. Okay. A disability yang wana ki ing. Hubane mbatwadi bar how le mutwadi osna mutu au fang e keleto. Ya hore wana how kis fufu. Ufufu wa hai buso buso how le katung utante we te sele sele se. Huba wima. So e ho supportalu e banaba rona le hore jalo ka femeli. Basane se ba 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 appreciate the pill. Femeli is an tani e support the pill. Femeli sane se u kisi se pill. Half the male is good to see the old sompa. High status be old boots. Karakana kungu kuhai ne babu akananza gile tenge karakio. Nice one ne ki enjoy attention ne ki snap chat. But hubo shoka. And half the male is how it will support community. I have been chat. Hubo easy for wena hore community is good to see the community. Hubo ne community enka shuni kai the male ni ha. I. I haven't really experienced any difficulties because I think because my family is so used to the norm of just having a disabled child that they didn't make me really feel like there's something going on or there's something different about us. I see my mom do so much and she's achieved so much that I mean, 
Why can't I do the same thing? Yeah. In 2030, as we look at giving, making real the NDP, Leano will be 10 years old. All of us tend to go to boarding schools away from our communities. That is why our communities never get to appreciate us, never get to see us, never get to understand us. So with Liano and the SDG saying leaving no one behind, I'm hoping that Liano will grow at home. Liano will have no reason to be in a boarding school at any point. So ICTs will be a basic right for a blind child in the format that they can understand. And that for me, above all, is that I will gauge Liano's success based on his ability to access education because support he has. Charlotte McLean in Glapo, wereldwijde gestreemdheidsadviseur bij de Wereldbank, is een leier op het gebied van ontsluiten van gestreemdheden, inclusieve onderwijs en inclusieve ontwikkeling. Zij deel met ons haar zinnen over die wereldwijde schijf en die denken die een oor personen met gestreemdheden wat bijdraagt tot die wereldwijde ontwikkelingsagenda. En wat zij zien als die oplossingen om die heilige pad van jeugdigers met gestreemdhede te verander in die richting van 2030. Ons is nou weer terug. Charlotte McLean Klapo is the Global Disability Advisor of the World Bank Group. She focuses on working with and supporting operational teams across the institution to ensure that bank policies, programs and projects take people with disabilities into consideration. Hello and welcome Charlotte. It's so great to have you with us online today. Now, Charlotte, you started your career as a human rights activist. Please share with us how your lived experience with disability then shaped the rest of your career. I knew from even before I went to high school that I wanted to study something that would help me be part of a solution. And so I knew that I wanted to study law and, and not just any type of law. I wasn't interested in corporate law. I wanted to study law that I thought could be useful um, to, to focus on injustices, right? And use law as a tool. And so that's what I did. I studied human rights law and I actually also studied international um, public law with a focus on law of the sea. So the issues around inequality and uh, exclusion became quite pronounced to me very early in my career. Charlotte, you are a thought leader in the field of disability inclusion and you regularly sit around the table with world leaders in, for example, the United Nations. Have you found that there is a shift in thinking um, by world leaders in terms of disability inclusion? I can safely and almost proudly say that, yes, there has been a shift. Um, and I think that shift comes um, as a result of the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, which is a UN um, treaty, a human rights treaty on the rights of persons with disabilities. It's been ratified by 182 countries. So that means governments are a lot more au fair with this notion of disability rights. Mm -hmm. And then the convention has, has influenced other global architecture. Mm -hmm. So for instance, the uh, sustainable development goals also mentioned disability. So I think at a global level, we're beginning to see a lot more understanding of why people with disabilities should be included, certainly in the development agenda. Charlotte, what are some of the game changers in making our 2030 vision in the National Development Plan and Sustainable Development Goals a reality for children who will begin their post-school education and careers in 2030? In the case of South Africa, the policies are in place, so you don't, it's not necessarily a policy deficit, it's more about the implementation. So the intentionality around investing in children with disabilities is, is essential for, for us to move this agenda. Uh, but you can't just put kids with disabilities in school without having the necessary supports. So you almost have to backstep 
step and say, well, how do we train teachers that mm -hmm. are um, empowered to teach kids with a whole host of disabilities? Because as, as you well know, persons with disabilities, children with disabilities are not one homogeneous group of people. So you yes. need to train teachers to be able to teach kids with disabilities. And then Charlotte, I'd really love to hear from you some uh, parting lasting words on what you think government and legislatures as well as community in general need to be doing differently. We have in place an incredible constitution. We have policies in place and we owe it to every South Africa to ensure that they are part of this of our democracy. Um, and, and disability should not be a reason that you're not able to be part of that. And I think we have to be intentional about it. We have to have the drive and we need to invest in ensuring that we bring every single person with a disability on board. Charlotte, it has been an absolute pleasure to be able to chat with you again. Thank you so much for your time and for coming to enlighten our audience members. Thank you so much. Take care. Die stem van Gemotso Mawalusi, stichte van Puzzle Piece Convos, het een gereelde klank op die lucht geword. Sy deelt gereeld stories met haar luisteraars van die moeilike en vreugdevolle omlikke met haar kind wat autisme het. Ons leer meer oor haar passie vir gerechtigheid vir mense met autisme en wat sy in die toekomst vir haar tweeling en die gemeenskap waarin sy woon wil sien. Gemotso established Puzzle Piece Convos a few years back as a support initiative for parents of autistic children, giving them a safe space to exhale, to talk, to be brutally honest about their feelings, to aspire, to expect, to find emotional support and to learn from one another. For me, if I had to take NDP, uh, like a lot of the, um, the strategies we have in place, one of the key things that we've been speaking about since the new dispensation is around inclusive education. And I think we have not adequately um, interrogated what we mean by inclusive. Do we have schools for learners with special needs? Yes, we do. Are they doing enough? No, because many times they also, apart from being lacking, they do not recognize the spectrum of disabilities that exist. So in a class, you find a child with cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, autism. Well, even now, autism is better because now you have a separate class. So I think for us, before we can aim for 2030, we've got to have an honest and true assessment of what we have put into place. In the schools that we've created, we have made sure that there is admission, but we have not been inclusive in the curriculum. As regards to helping the efforts and the interventions, of the teachers, um, my Mr. Asadi social worker. I think as Basadi Harka Hopola Hore, especially Hakinka and I'll stick to autism. Because our kids don't present the same. I think one of the things I have seen and has made a difference for my journey with my children is to document what I go through with my children. So if I go to a doctor and a doctor gives me medication, it is my responsibility to document what, what the impact of that thing is so that when I go back to them, I am feeding back. Because you must always remember, specialists, see your kids for 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, the neuro, maybe twice a year. The other ones, maybe what? So it is up to you to engage. At the end of the day, you still know your child better. You may not know the condition, but you know your child. The two saw for Banabaru Nadal disability, liver autism. Dite, dite ngo muson, dite ngo di public school, ho na le di di private school and na kongwe di center. Information e o rekai kreya. Every province in ali a director within education wa was wa inclusive education. And every district, their yeah, school is supposed to have that. And that is where Reswantanra apply. So how can you say that you have to do it? You have to do it in your school, you have to do it in your school, you have to do it in your school, you have to do it in your school. You have to do it in your school, you have to do it in your school. 
diketso tsa ngwana hao le ka mogo a leng ka teng o ya go department ya education na go ngwe di social workers ba itse ba tla ya autism le go di clinic ba di tseba ba ka se tsebe maybe ka botlalo mar ha e be wena o le motswadi ha o fitla mo o gona o hlalo sa hore um ngwana ke mona a itse channel 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 you are helping them help you and then to redirect how where you can go with such things lebeletso a tle ka 2030 hore re be le sechaba selling inclusive i think it's time for other sectors to come on board department of education ne health and social development health ne they have started they have done something but everybody else has not gore hai 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 fane so ho hore Government ke kasa tsaka thata tshe ho ba le dikolo tsa bana ba di special needs yet there's no linkage after school what happens to our kids after 16 after 18 if higher education is also not then putting things into place Na die advertensie onderbreek en gaan kyk ons agter die skerms wat se waardevolle bydra wonde lewe vir die bevrydiging van mense met gesigsgestremdheid. Dogs are commonly referred to as man's best friend and in some cases they are also man's guide. In our activated bulletin we visit SA Guide Dogs in Johannesburg to find out more about service dogs and how they are trained to assist persons with various disabilities or impairments. Let's find out more. The SA Guide Dog Association's mission is to improve the quality of life of visually, physical, impaired people and children with autism. We as the Guide Dog Association train three different training disciplines. The first one is the Guide Dog. Guide Dog is there to assist a person with a visual impairment with traffic management help them not to bump into obstacles so it's a guiding function forward good boy we do obedience work targeting platforms which give them a drive to find up curbs we teach them to go around an obstacle and come back to the straight good line good boy up find the way find the way <laughs> Leaving the house alone was a challenge before we had Matilda because of the, the amount of anxiety he had. And since we got Matilda, it's improved a lot because he knows his only job is holding on to Matilda. So it gives him a sense of security. He likes the consistency of having her with him wherever he goes. And it's it's heartwarming. En nou gaan ons eers 'n draai maak in Pretoria om Kwi Maglatsi Mpaklele te ontmoet. Alhoewel hier die jong student met albinisme baie uitdagings gehad het, het sy stoots groot drome vir haar toekoms en dit is haar can do houding wat sal verseker dat sy dit sal bereik. Ons gaan ontmoet haar. Kalibizo ki Kwi Mpaklele ke holetse ntlapo section ka tlhom. Ke hotse kena le la palen tatang le mpontsang le rat empa bo tatang ne bo fitla ha ke a skolong go bana skolong ba tshone ba sa utlisi sore go bana ke sa tshwane le bona ene ba ba ne ba sa ikemise tsa utlisi empa ntshengwe emba tswa di ba ka bana tshotse seng yona go ha ke fitla skolong ke ska ka ikutlang ka ga a ke a tla me hore ke be mo go bana le nna ke na le tokelo ya hore ke fumane ke ya hore ke fumane thuto ba tsoba ne mang go thatsa gore ke tse ntshotse ke batlang o di etsa ene le matitshere a ka haolo ba ne skolong ke bona ba ile mbatlala ba nka mohel pele ho bana ba skolo le batswa di ba ka le bona ba ne bang go thatsa gore ke ske ka inyatsa ke ke tswela pele ke be motho ke batlang o ba yena 
Mo packet listing ya lona pa 2030 ke na na hore. Ho tlamile ho be le tseding dintho tse etsuang hore. Batho ba be aweka alpinism ho bane. Alpinism ayat or any disability ayat la me hore e buwe ka yona only in the month where awareness is spread or in the day where awareness is spread but it is something that people should practice as a lifestyle. Having a child with albinism may be hard for a parent because it starts with making the child understand about why they are different from everyone else. And that may take a long time. But the thing I can tell the parents to be aware of is they must be patient and mind how they talk to their children because what you say to your child at an early age greatly affects how they grow up and how and what they want to be in life. So try to be mindful of your words and be gentle at times. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of season one of Activated. We hope that you have gained a greater understanding of the unique contributions persons with disabilities make and that you feel inspired to act. In the words of Tata Madiba, to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. In closing, we leave you with some of our heartwarming moments and quotes, our special guests and short clips of our moments we had together. Till we meet again, SABC2, you belong, Tot Saints. Call to arts for persons with disabilities. If we want to be part of this story, we have to write our own chapters. While I was trying to reach in my bag for a phone, he probably thought I was reaching out to get a weapon or something, and that's when he shot me. Um, yo. You have your beautiful dress on. You are a diva. <laughs> Through obstacles, I push. Through discrimination, I rise because I'm only human, and there's nothing magical about me. Give, you'll be given. Love, you'll be loved. And respect, you'll be respected. Always follow your dreams, no matter what. It is always up to you. Put your mind to it and make sure you do what you need to do. Nothing about us without us.